हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टडी ओशियन थर्मल एनर्जी वी नो दैट अबाउट सेवेंटी पर सेवेंटी पर्सेंट ऑफ अर्थ सर्फेस इज कवर्ड बाय द ओशियन्स मेकिंग देम वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट सोलार कलेक्टर ओशियन थर्मल एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी टेक्नोलॉजी विच कन्वर्ट द सोलर रेडिएशन इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सो द टेम्परे टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट अक्रॉस द डेप्थ ऑफ अ सी कैन बी यूज टू जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ओशन थर्मल एनर्जी कन्वर्जन एज द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज वेरी लो द इफिशियंसी ऑफ दिस एनर्जी कन्वर्जन ऑफ सच प्लांट इज वेरी लो सो वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस ओशन थर्मल एनर्जी कन्जर्वेशन इज वी नो दैट वेन सोलर रेडिएशन इज इंसिडेंट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द ओशन मोस्ट ऑफ द सोलर हीट एब्सॉर्बन टेक्स प्लेस एट द सर्फ सर्फेस जस्ट बिलो द वॉटर ओके सो वाइल डीप वॉटर इन द ओशन रिमेन्स कोल्ड सो वी नो दैट द ऑलवेज वॉर्मर वॉटर इज लाइटर एज कम्पेयर टू द हेवियर कोल्ड वॉटर सो वॉर्मर वॉटर इज ऑलवेज एट द सर्फेस ऑफ द सर्फेस ऑफ द ओशन सो दिस टेम्परेचर डिफरन्स बिट्वीन द वॉर्म सर्फेस वॉटर एंड कोल्ड डीप वॉटर कैन बी यूटिलाइज टू रन द हीट इंजिन कपल टू द जनरेटर टू प्रोड्यूस द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सो in in this uh, ocean thermal energy the temperature difference between warm surface water and colder water is used to run the uh, used to run the uh, turbine and turbine is uh, by uh, turbine mechanical energy is generated and that mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy by using the generator so electrical energy is produced in ocean thermal energy conversion there are two types of ocean thermal energy conserve uh, conversion plants one is open cycle system or uh, which is called as cloudless cycle and another is closed cycle system which is called as anderson cycle so we will study open cycle uh, system in case of open cycle system uh, see here uh, there is a warm water from the uh, ocean surface is taken into rear uh, rear where uh, the air is removed from this by using vacuum pump non condensable gases are uh, also removed Uh, from uh, from the warm water that warm water is supplied to the flash evaporator where evaporation of that warm water is takes place the remaining uh, brine or uh, liquid brine is uh, released to the uh, at the depth to the uh, ocean and the steam generated in the flash evaporator is passes uh, to the uh, turbine uh, that low pressure steam is passes through the turbine where expansion of that steam is uh, takes place and after expansion in the steam uh, ele mechanical energy is generated uh, that mechanical energy is converted into electrical into uh, in the generator and that exhaust uh, steam is supplied to the direct uh, contact type condenser where uh, that exhausted steam is uh, cooled uh, by using cold water from the ocean depth cold water from the ocean depth when uh, cold water from the ocean depth and exhaust steam comes in contact with each other it get now uh, exhausted steam gets condensed and that condensate is again released to the uh, is again released to the uh, ocean so condensate is to the ocean so in case of uh, open cycle or uh, it is also called as cloud cycle ocean thermal power plant uh, this is the working of that now we will, uh, we will study the closed cycle uh, ocean thermal energy conversion system or anderson anderson cycle ocean thermal energy system so in the diagram we show uh, the evaporator uh, evaporator is nothing but heat exchanger where uh, the warm water from um, the uh, uh, sea surface is taken uh, and evaporation of the uh, fluid is, uh, evaporation of here uh, in case of cloud cycle freon is used as a working fluid so when warm water comes in contact with the freon uh, freon that freon gas uh, get uh, Uh, evaporated and uh, that evaporated uh, freon gas is passes through the uh, turbine where the expansion of that freon vapor is takes place and uh, after expansion uh, mechanical energy is generated that uh, is converted into electrical energy by using generator now uh, the um, exhausted freon uh, vapor is uh, passes to the condenser where cold water cold water from the deep sea is uh, uh, used to cool the uh, freon vapor uh, where uh, when uh, cold water from the deep sea and uh, uh, freon vapor comes in contact with each other uh, condensation of uh, freon uh, vapor takes place and it gets converted into liquid freon and then uh, that liquid freon is again pumped back to the heat exchanger and this cycle uh, repeats now uh, we will uh, see the advantages and disadvantages of the ocean thermal uh, energy so advantages are are Uh, now uh, the power developed is continuous and it is intermediate 
of the weather this power is continuously developed in ocean thermal power plant it does not depends on the weather um, so there are small variation in the power output from season to season so uh, when uh, the rainy season is there uh, the power output is variation is there the system uses conventional power plants uh, needing only small uh, changes in the design it can be produced simultaneously desalination of water is also uh, done by using this plant so what are the disadvantages of this plant so disadvantages of ocean thermal energy sources are capital cost is very high efficiency of energy conversion is very less then uh, it needs very large size turbines due to use of low pressure steam low pressure steam is generated uh, so the large turbines are uh, required uh, then it is a uh, expensive working fluid uh, is used in case of closed cycle freon is used in case of closed cycle as a working fluid so it is expensive and uh, cost of electric power generated per uh, kilowatt hour per unit is also very high in uh, case of ocean thermal energy conversion so cost of generation uh, cost of electric power generation uh, per unit is also very high now we will uh, see the what are the different applications of uh, uh, ocean thermal power plant so different applications are desalinization of water can be done by using this hydrogen production is uh, 